What if I told you that globally, people average six hours and 40 minutes of screen time per day? It's getting close to half your day staring at a screen. Now go have a look at your own phone. And what are your first initial thoughts? If you're thinking, oh, that's not so bad, then this video probably isn't for you. See, I've been putting a lot of effort into stopping my mindless, brain rot scrolling of TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, you name it. And to an extent, it's actually kind of worked. My screen time is down to three hours and 24 minutes or something like that every week. No, every day. Every week, that's the dream. That's actually not including time on the computer or video games or movies. I th is that good nowadays? <laughs> I mean, if you add all those things together, then it's probably a really scary number. E point is that it's not good enough for me. Every time I open these apps, I get sucked in. Even if it's for something specific, I go into these apps. I found myself after 10 minutes, uh, literally forgetting what I even went into the app for. I've just watched a bunch of videos or I saw this post and read comments on this. It's like this unavoidable. Uh, and worst of all, one that I am very much not proud to admit is the dirty devil that is comparison. I'll be honest, I have a great life. I've got friends, I've got family, I have a beautiful fiance, I work a job I enjoy doing, I've got enough money to enjoy my life, I'm healthy, all of these things. And yet every time I close one of these apps after being on them, I feel this sadness in my chest. I don't know really how to describe it. I just, I just never feel good. The worst part is that I understand how insane that is and constantly remind myself that there's no reason for me to feel envious of people's lives on social media. But unfortunately, that's not how the human brain works, I'm learning. And no matter how many times I remind myself, I still feel this way. And so I figured it was time to treat these social media apps like I've decided to treat alcohol and nicotine this year. Cut them out entirely. Terminated. Deleted. Removed. I need to delete them. Either way, here are the three ways I'm planning on removing the doom scroll entirely. <laughs> the first one is pretty simple, and honestly, I think all of us could probably get outside more. Maybe it's just spending a bit more time away on the weekends with ourselves or friends, families, our dogs, whatever it might be. You know, things like going out and petting koalas or kangaroos. Okay, well, I guess sadly kangaroos are only in Australia, but you get the point. The part of our lives that seems to have been snatched up the most by social media and the doom scrolling is all of the little moments we used to have during the day or throughout the week. This is an important part of what it means to be a human being, having these little moments where we're not actually doing anything. Instead of checking our Instagram DMs when we're taking a poop or making our morning coffee, just going outside and listening being present. If I've got enough time to sit down and scroll through TikTok, then I've probably got enough time to go outside for a short five to 10 minute walk. The second one is also not groundbreaking, but equally as important. We all could probably read some more books. I think I've probably read 10 books in my entire life, which is pretty sad. And I actually kind of like reading but like so many other people, I'm a stimulation junkie. And so I generally will always reach for something like social media. It's nighttime before bed and it's just so easy to open up the apps and scroll away. But that's dumb and I don't wanna be dumb. Books make people smart. And so me become smart because I read books. <laughs> 
<laughs> but in all seriousness, I actually am really stoked to just sink my teeth into some good books. It always felt like I never really had the time before, but see, that's what social media does. It allows you to make excuses as to why you haven't done things. Well, now, no excuses. Time to read a bunch of good books. The third and final one is something that I've already been doing, but also something that needs a lot more time and attention. And that is to write more stuff. Writing is one of those habits that have come and gone for me over the years. It's something I enjoy doing, but there are periods where I just distract myself with other things. So the reason I specified stuff is, well, most of us enjoy doing things when we don't actually have to do them. And for me, the same kind of thing applies to writing. I love just grabbing a pen and paper, opening up the notes app on my laptop and just going. Whether it's a journal entry, my next short film that never gets made, or just doodling stick figures. Okay. Oh, you wanna come be on camera here? Yeah, ow, oh. Dog doesn't know how big she is. Okay, come on, sit, sit. So when I decided I was gonna make this video, I saw something kind of funny that was like a joke about how TikTok, okay, Freya, come on. <laughs> So I ended up finding some jokes that were basically saying how TikTok for millennials is like what MySpace was for boomers. And I laughed and simultaneously felt very old. And then realized this whole video kind of makes me sound like a boomer. <laughs> I don't know if my general dislike for what social media now contributes or doesn't contribute to my life is due to the fact that I was born before any of this, any of, any of these, or also the fact that in the early days it did feel a little bit more social. It wasn't about making money or showcasing how awesome your life is to the whole world. It was more a place for communication, general goofiness, or I don't know, sharing photos and things. It was all faster and cooler, but, but less menacing. I don't. Menacing probably isn't the right. You know what though? This all really is just a super long way for me to say that I'm gonna try to be a lot more present. And if you're like me and uh, social media is getting you down, I don't know, maybe take a break. Maybe don't. I don't really know shit about shit, to be honest. What do you think, Freya? Yeah, she agrees. And so maybe I'll report back in a week, a month, a year, who knows, but um, I can tell you one thing, it's only been three days and I already feel better. Peace. I'm going dumb, I'm trying to live it and stunt. Get anything that I want, whenever I want. It's okay to be broke, it's not okay to be a bum. Gotta move up, I never front, I keep it one, honey, hun. Do